Okay, this is beautiful Jersey. Beautiful. Beautiful New Jersey. Hey, it's uh, just like Iowa, Zeb. This is just like Iowa and Ohio, just, right? Just like it. Okay, I like to catch you under duress and in a bad situation. I am under duress. You are. You're, you're on. <laughs> your feet are to the fire right now. I have directions on my phone, driving in New Jersey, interview with Zeb. It doesn't yeah. get any more heat than this. There it is, man. You got heat. So this is like what you guys like to do. So let's talk recruiting, right? Because obviously that's what you're here for. You're doing some recruiting. But, you know, you did, we talk and there's a lot of knowledge I don't really think it goes one way. You tell me more than I tell you. But uh, how do you like to recruit guys, and, and what are the processes for you? You know, it's like relationship building, and how do you research guys? How, you know, that that that's that is fascinating to me how you do that. You make a lot of phone calls, so I mean, you gotta. This is what I try and do. I try and call and talk to people in their life until you find somebody that has something bad to say about them, because everybody's got personality traits that somebody might not agree with. Though so I try and find as unbiased a person in their life that still knows about them that can give you opinion. Because if you talk to mom or dad or wrestling coach, right, hardest worker on the planet, never touched a drop of alcohol in his life, all he wants to do is wrestle. And that might not necessarily be the case. One, because, I mean, kids are pretty good at hiding stuff and they might not know, but also they got a biased opinion of, of who their kid and their wrestler is. So try and find out unbiased opinions, a lot of phone calls. So how far do you dig? Like, tell me, you, you know, coach, parents, we obviously know that's going to be good, but how far back and how far do you dig? Teachers, that's the best place to go. Because um, especially if it's a smaller school, teachers going to know pretty much everybody there, right? And they talk to other teachers that have had them. So they might not necessarily be tied to the kid's athletic career. And you can get a little more unbiased opinion from, from their teachers. I think it's a good resource to use. So teachers, non-athletic teachers, right? right teachers right. who are not coaches. Sure, fine. Talk to the English teacher. Someone who doesn't have anything to do with it. But... um. You know, you said other things to me um, that make me think more about life than wrestling. Like, what you got going on in your career is not the most important thing in the world right now. Oh, no, man. There's Th That blows my mind. There's Because yeah. it's right. Because it's right. But not a lot of wrestlers think that way. There's seven billion people on Earth. I mean, there's a lot that's going on. The My world is not the center of the universe. And I think to think that way is a disease. And one... And even if you look at it from a selfish standpoint and you think everything that you do is the most important thing... Well then, well like tragedy and bad things happen in your life, it's absolutely devastating. Instead of being able to step back and get a little perspective and realize, okay, there's tougher situations and people out there that are worse. I mean, like we were talking about earlier, the bread lines in Armenia, that buddy you got, the guy you were talking to, we don't even have any perspective on what's that like. Like, we're hungry, we'll walk downstairs. Somebody was complaining because their bacon wasn't crispy enough. Like, that's the world we live in. How am I going to get really wrapped up and, um, I lost... I lost one match last year, even though I won 35 of them. Like, it takes a little bit of perspective to be happy in, in wrestling. That's, right to merge I mean, you know, it's not very nice sometimes. North. It'll throw you some bad beats, and everybody's going to lose. Everybody's going to have setbacks. So you do have to keep that perspective that what I do in my career and what's going on is not the most important thing that's happening on the planet. Do you guys go and get guys? It's pretty diverse. Obviously, I was saying, you know, you're saying if you're from California and you're going to UNI, and I, you're, you're obviously going there to win a national title. You're not going there for for the, the, the beautiful whitewater rafting or anything right. like that, right? Yeah. Um, getting diversity in there, bringing guys in from the East Coast. You're here in Jersey recruiting. Uh, how important is it to get different perspectives, different guys, different flavors in there? Um, I think it's part of the team building. I'm actually doing a lot of research on team building right now and group dynamics. And the more, like, we, I try and get guys to be as honest with themselves and their teammates as they can. So the different perspectives you have, it makes, okay, if we're talking about, like, what does selflessness mean? That's one of the tenets on our team is to be a good teammate. I think a lot of people have it wrong because you'll hear the talk at NCAAs, go out there and take care of yourself and like the team will take care of itself, right? You hear that speech over and over and over again at NCAAs and I think it's backwards. I think if guys focus on the team, then the individual output will take care of itself. So when you got a bunch of diversity on your team and guys look at selflessness in a different way, the more people that talk about it, that look at it in a different light, it clicks with people. They, okay, I kind of think about it that way too, so it makes their view of it a little bit stronger. It makes our view of it a little bit more well-rounded well because as hard as we try to be, like look at life through a different lens and, and put on different hats when we're coaching, like we're biased too, right? We've, we've got our paradigms that shape the world we live in. It's hard to get out of them. We love our life. We see the things that happen every day. So having that diversity, not just on the team, but on the staff and the people you surround your group with, just makes the team unit so much stronger. Take exit 165 toward Ordell, then keep I'd Listen, toward my Ordell. brain gets filled with knowledge and I get pumped. I mean, that that's good thinking. And 
we get a little Jersey. We, we were just on an empty freeway, by the way. I know. That that was that was pretty sweet, right? What, what's my change here? Uh, couldn't couldn't tell you. Let, let, me, let me be more helpful here, all right? 